Hey there YouTube. Hey there YouTube. What is going on? Is your buddy DBS one A. Today it is March 4th. We are still pretty much in this somewhat of a winter phase. We are in a winter phase. I don't know why I'm saying somewhat. But um what I'm gonna do is I wanna flush out my fork fluid. So while starting that out, I'm gonna have to do it's gonna be two separate videos. So one video will be basically telling you how to take the front tire off, which you can't really see right now. But we're gonna go into how, how to take the front tire off. That's gonna be first. And then after that, we will do the how-to for the forks. So that's gonna be two separate actual videos. After that also, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get these, uh, grease my, my fork my head bearings here it's been about 10,000 miles since I last changed the bearings out if some of you remember or some of you have watched those maintenance videos in the maintenance playlist I changed out the fork the head bearings in there and went to uh, tapered tapered bearings I forgot the brand name but anyway, I went to tapered bearings and I'm thinking about pulling those and re-greasing them it's the manual states every 15,000 I'd have another five so i don't know anyway so without further ado how about we get started all right ladies and gentlemen so the first thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to loosen this top cap for your fork okay this is what holds your spacer in your spring in and everything of that sort actually there's going to be something else that you actually want to do before this but we'll get to that now this here as you can see this well you won't be able to see this is a six millimeter hex socket and if you read the manual the service manual not the owner's manual but if you read the service manual it tells you to just loosen up on this bolt a little bit don't loosen the two lowers but loosen this one just loosen it up a little bit and then you can pull this now usually i would take the the bars off or such so that i can loosen them but uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to that okay now let me show you something else before that alrighty so this is a small mod that I made to the fork cover here now actually I did this last time while it was still on the bike but what I should have done or I wish I did was do it while it was while I had this off the bike anyway basically what it is is you're just gonna make a small cut right up here and then right across Okay, and then when you do that, you'll be able to get an Allen key in there to get this out. Just pretty much like this. Now, well, it's a bigger Allen key than this, but whenever you want to do your flush, you don't have to take the, the, the fairing off, the bars off. You don't have to go through all of that stuff. All you have to do, you pull these, this here, you pull that top one, and you slide your fork out. All right, so... Now we're going to want to loosen this nut right here. Okay. So we'll take this and we'll loosen that. <clears throat> All right. Because you basically want to loosen that before you start to turn on this. But you make sure you don't loosen your bottom ones. You don't want to loosen those bottom ones. Just this top ones because the bottom ones are still holding the fork in place. And then you can loosen this. Now this is a 22 millimeter socket. Or if you have the wrench, you can use that. But I don't have the wrench, so I'm using a, right now I'm using a 7 8 which uh, will do the job pretty nicely. Now I'm just gonna lightly just turn it a little bit and I can see it moving there. I just want to loosen it so that when I do get it off, when I get the, when I slide the fork out, I'll be able to make my, I'll be able to, to get this off easily. I can just grip it and then make my adjustments. Now the seven eighths is not a perfect fit, but at the same time, this isn't so tight that, I, it you know, it's not so tight that it's gonna 
marred. Well, mine is already marred, but you get that. All right, YouTube. So now we have the wheel off. Our axle is, axle is still in there. Okay. Now what we need to do is, and we're going to go to the backup camera here. All right. There are four bolts underneath here. All right. Now let me get you some, let's get you some light. All right. So we have this, these, there's four bolts under here. You have this one, you have that one back there. All right. And then there's two on this side, as you can see there. And then with that, we're going to pull the fender off. All right. Because you have to pull the fender off because forks are attached to the fender. So we're going to loosen those up, pull this off. And then with that comes this little brake caliper bracket right here. You'll be able to pull that off because that's attached to here as you can see on both sides okay now once you do that you'll be able to put your your brakes off to the side and you can actually pull the fork right on out see this is just a cover this doesn't do anything this is just aesthetics you'll be able to pull this fork or slip it right on out and you could be able to service your forks all right so let's get to that So we got the fender off. Now we're just going to pull the, the two lower bolts over here and we can pull our fork out. All right, so let's get to that. you have them out when you want to service them you're just gonna to want to pull that that top cap right there okay it's probably not gonna be in focus a little bit dirty forks overall a little dirty but you can clean them up you can see a lot of dirt there but you can clean them up and um, 
then you're gonna drain your oil out. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna remove this cap and we're gonna drain the oil out of here. All right.